everyone, this is LZ. Welcome to Offworld. <laughs> so, um, it's been a long time since I played this game. <laughs> uh, not super duper long time, but well, a couple of months, at least. Um, plus, there's been a lot of updates and some new DLC for this game since then. So it's definitely... I'm definitely going to be rusty getting into it. Uh, a little bit of background here. Uh, Offworld. Oh, I'm going to show you the game as I go through. It's going to be a little bit of a refresher for me. Maybe a tutorial for you guys. Um, and... Uh, and a little bit of an explanation of what, what, what the game is, what it's all about. Um, as well as, um, I don't know if I'm going to make a series out of this or not. Probably not. I think this will probably go into the Raven's Arcade playlist, which is like those one-off things that could fit into, you know, you can watch them all independently of each other. Um... I did say in that playlist I wanted to keep things no longer than a half hour. This may run a little bit longer, depending. I'll try to keep it a half hour, but hey, we'll we'll see how how it goes. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see about the uh, also about the game. I am not running any mods, and I do have all of the DLC installed. So that's that's that. And let's get right into it. I'm gonna play some. Skirmishes. New skirmish game. Since it's been so long since I've played this, and I honestly don't remember much of anything, I'm going to leave everything on the default. So we're going to say on employee difficulty, which I should probably drop this since I'm going to be really rusty. But I'm going to leave it as employee anyways and see how bad I do. <laughs> uh, four players is fine. Me and three, three AIs. Uh, we're going to be playing on Mars. That's fine. I'll leave it. Mars is the default. That's where you originally start. And I believe the uh, the DLC adds series and IO. <clears throat> uh, map type only even on random. Map size medium is fine. Yeah, it's fine for now because it's only the four the four players. Preset map. You can choose one of the pre-built maps. I'm gonna leave it on default, which. As far as I know, just means that it's going to randomly generate us a map. So that's fine. Map seed. Uh, that doesn't matter. Rules. Game speed, normal, resources, minimum, colony class. That's new. I don't remember seeing that before. Latitude type. Random prices change speed. Can change any speed and pause during play. Yeah, that's fine. Marathon mode. Stock prices are higher to enable longer game during the camp paying or the stock victory option of the game lasts four days. That's fine. Well, I'll just leave it all on default for now. I seem to recall uh, me and a buddy of mine used to play a couple multiplayer matches just between me and him and the AI, just for the fun. And um, I seem to remember there was a couple things I used to change in here, but I can't quite remember what they were. I think Advanced Sabotage was one of the ones we always turned on and uh, something else. Can't remember what it was. Anyways, well, it's been a while, like I said. I'm just going to jump right into it, and you're going to watch me probably go bankrupt <laughs> or be bought out right, right, right the fuck away. <laughs> All right, so in this game, it's uh, basically you run a mining operation or a uh, uh, bit of a mining thing, <laughs> a trade company, if you will. <laughs> we have four different flavors to play. Actually, that's a new is when I played last time, there was only three to choose from. There was the robots, the reclamation, the scavengers, and the scientists. And now there's uh, now there's a new one, Penrose Collective. 
Use silicone instead of steel. Starts with an extra HQ. Can return two claims per HQ upgrade. Starts with no resource start pile. Interesting. Uh, think I'm going to go robotics this time around. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, if, if I do this right, I'm getting some leg. All right, so let's, I guess I'll start the game by scanning things out. I'll probably play as robotics just to, uh, to start with and kind of go from there. Each one plays differently, just so you guys know. They do each all play differently. Uh, how do we do this? Uh, you gotta scan out from right. Low levels of water found. Low levels of aluminum found. Medium levels of iron found. Low levels of silicon found. Low so this is when you start in the game. You basically found. have to start scanning out. A scientific HQ has been founded. Looks like we got two science already going on. A robotics HQ Ooh, has been found. Silicon found. Really? Ooh, a geothermal vent. This will be useful. Geothermal vent will be, uh, actually. I'm starting late now because I'm still scanning. I should probably land it already. <laughs> Started going. Shit. That's different. Why is there seconds and stuff? What the fuck's going on here? High levels of water found. There's a lot of resources that seem to be missing in this fucking. Whenever you click, the game actually proceeds. Built the first metal mine. It's been so long since I played this, I am probably going to fail. Terribly. Alright, let's fuck it. Let's start robotics. Let's go right here. Let's begin. Uh, what do we want? Aluminum. Metal mine. Let's go. Aluminum, and we want iron, 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 iron. Iron is a little far away for iron. For it's more, more aluminum. So I guess we'll go over here for iron. Yeah, iron. Iron's good. Iron, aluminum. Good things to grab. Power. We need power because we're robots run exclusively online. on power. Rather than running on uh, things like geothermal and all that stuff, you run on power. A robotics HQ has been upgraded. A scientific HQ has been upgraded. And instead of the needing things like O2 HQ or even, I don't even think you even need fuel. You just specifically need power for all your transport ships and everything. Because as you can see, as you're building these mines and everything else, there should be ships that go back and forth. Or no, there isn't anymore. Did they change that? I feel like I'm getting a lot of lag. I am getting a bunch of lag. Look at that. That's that's brutal. I usually don't get this much lag. Silica! Yes, that's a good one to grab. Why silica, someone may ask. Because you use silica to make electronics. That's usually one of the things you have to go for. And carbon. I need to find carbon. I need to upgrade my HQ before I can continue. Black market. Man, it's been so long since I played this, I don't even remember what the fuck I'm doing at all. I might have to go through the tutorial again. <laughs> Damn, son. I'm getting so much leg. I don't know why. At least you don't get leg. Let's try v -sync. Is that going to make a difference? Probably not. Maybe I won't record this. The rest of this. I don't have any debt. I need electron. I need steel. Ah, uh, that's what I forgot to do. Alright, I'm going to have to buy a thing. 
So we need to make a steel mill. Get a bonus by for building it next to each other. Oh, you get a bonus for building it next to the um Yes, that's right, that's right. You get bonuses for building it next to each other. As well as you get bo yeah, robots you get bonuses for building it next to power, and you get bonuses for building it next to the resource that it requires. So to build steel you need iron. So you put it close to iron, you get a 50% bonus to its production. Which is nice. I did not start this well. Yeah, I, I, I realized right away I fucked up. This mine should have been over, and I could have built slightly... Mm, uh, fuck it, let's, let's go. Fuck it, let's do this then. <laughs> so in case you're wondering what I did, uh, you only get so many tiles that you can claim when you first start certain... Uh, Certain ones get more tiles than others that you can claim. Yeah, there's the ships going, delivering the shit. Somebody's been freezed. Okay, pause. I gotta take a look at my settings. I don't think the same thing helped at all. I'd say no limit, I suppose. Ah. Alrighty, well, let's drop, uh... Let's put this on medium, then. A new claim is available for option. An extra claim, eh? Well, this was a bad mistake. I'm gonna go into debt with that. Oh, you want it instead, do you? A claim is useful, though, but the question is how much are you willing to pay for it? Yeah, I shouldn't have bid. <laughs> I shouldn't have bid again. I should have let them take it. Okay, I'm letting them take it. Fucking go for it. If you're that desperate for a claim that you're willing to set, put so, yourself 24,000 in debt, go fucking for it. I don't even think actually reducing the video qu video quality actually ch affected this, the lag. It still seems kind of laggy. There's like motion blur or something when I move around. That might be a setting I might need to look at. All right, I'm making the steel now. Market is open for business. Glass, the price of glass is going up pretty good. So yes, this here on the left-hand side of the screen is the price mark, is the basically the market of price of everything. It's the current price of power. I'm auto, I auto sell. Uh, here we go, upgrade. A robotics HQ has been upgraded. Yeah, mine. A scientific HQ has been upgraded. So when you do an upgrade for your HQ, you gain more everything, basically. Element quarry for carbon. Is there no carbon on the fucking map? Ooh. Ooh hoo, 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 hoo. Okay, I don't like that. Oh yes, there is carbon. Way the fuck down there. Is that it? Is that the only place there's actually carbon? Ouch. Yep. That's the only place there's carbon. All right, well, a scientific HQ has been upgraded. Go for it. Get our first carbon going. I don't need water for anything. Um, metal mine, steel. I could make some more steel. I could probably get a lot. I could probably start doing a lot more things. So I'm getting a lot more aluminum than I am iron. So let's let's 
fix that. Let's get more iron. So that gives me a boost, more iron. And let's make another steel mill right next to that one. 75% bonus. <laughs> Claim a tile, I'm gonna claim one there so I can use that later and I'll put an extra windmill there to get more power. So this is how much I'm actually making. Currently generating this much aluminum, this much iron, this much steel, this much silica that much power which i'm in the negative for power and as you can see my debt is going up because power <laughs> i can sell some if i do this i can click sell one at a time which generates money and if you as it says here you shift click to sell 100 or con control for one i think regular click is 10. yeah okay sorry regular click is 10 so 10 at a time Control click is one, shift is for a hundred, and then for alt is for all, and shift control is to auto sell everything. Optimization center is on sale. Yeah, that'd be a good one to grab. Then let me have it. They're not gonna let me have it for too cheap. We're doing pretty good so far. I haven't. I have still have an AAA, AAA credit rating because I don't have that much debt, all things considered. The higher the debt you have, the easier it is to buy someone else. Congratulations! Yeah, that guy. See, he his his stock is. Uh, that's how much his stock's worth. So for me, it is fourteen thousand a share. He has the lowest. Yeah, see, so now he went down to thirteen. His stock's going down because now he has a C credit rating because he has taken on a lot more debt. A lot of this game is about managing your debt and trying to gain. You know spend your money wisely basically so if anyone was wondering why i said okay well no you fuckers it blew up my fucking so as you've seen they, they just blew up my wind player plant because that's the thing you can do you can buy sabotage from the black market that you can use to fuck over your competitors or defend yourself as well as goon squad you can defend yourself Geothermal power plant. That would be fucking lovely. Go for it. I probably shouldn't have done that because I had bought the windmill, but that's fine. We'll have both. <laughs> Robots. Robots, like I said, they don't require oxygen for their people, for life support systems. A scientific HQ has been upgraded. And they do not require fuel for their ships to travel to deliver their stuff. Everything runs off of electricity. So that's why it's good practice to get as much energy as you can. Plus, energy is usually okay, does okay in the market. Usually, I mean, it's not always the case because the market value of all this stuff for CC right now, food is selling for 233. It's like, yeah, that's completely random. It all depends upon what these guys, the colony, what they need. It's just, it's AI, it's random. You know, every time something happens there, they suddenly start needing more stuff. So, for example, even though I'm robots and I don't need food and I don't need oxygen, I could still make it and sell it back to them if I wanted to. I'd have to just get water to be able to do any of it. So that's, you know, that's... I know I haven't done a really good job of trying to explain the game. I'm trying to, but it's not the best explanation. <laughs> um... Oh yeah, I mean, that's... I am a crippling network virus. Buy me and unleash me on your enemies. Sure, why not? If no one else is gonna buy it. I don't know what I'm gonna put it on though. Sold. I wish I know who fucking bombed me because then I could get back at them. Who's leading right now? Orange, right? Orange? You fucker. Take a virus. 
Alright, I gotta sell some stuff to get some money. What do I got that I can sell? Power, but I'm already out of selling power. So. I suppose I can sell some... I got a lot of stuff, so... Let's sell some... some uh, aluminum. Aluminium. Sell some steel. HQ has been upgraded. By claim, I should build a electronics factory as soon as I can. 50% bonus by putting it down there. Interesting. Yeah, you get bonuses for putting it near the resources, like I said. I could put it down here next to my silica and I would get a 50% bonus. But then the travel time for the energy cost is like, does that worth it? Because the farther shit is away, as you can see, there's a little there's a little so the lightning bolt that says minus 0.1. That's the energy cost to travel for that distance. But if I put it all the way down here near silica, which is one of the things that is required, or sorry, that's carbon. Uh, see, it's negative 0.55 energy. That's how much it'll cost me to actually run that, to have for the ships to deliver it. You can put them down here, it's not that bad. Still gets a 50% bonus. Or I can put them down here next to the aluminium, which is actually probably not a bad idea. This actually might be what I do. Uh, yeah, sure, actually. Let's, uh, let's do that. I'll put them down here next to the aluminum. Aluminum. <laughs> Get my first electronics factory. So as you can see, electronics is worth second most right now. Food being the most. Glass being the next. Built the patent lab. Hmm. I'm falling behind in this game. I don't think I'm going to win it, but like I said, I, kn I knew I wasn't gonna, this was going to be rough. I almost did. Us. <laughs> I have been targeted by a magnetic storm. Let me guess. My geo plan. Oh no, it's not, actually. The black market is online. Well no, what do you hit? What they hit? My one of my mines? No. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, the black market's online. It's only open so every so often. HQ has been upgraded. But I don't have the money to uh, to do it. A D plus one? Wow, I've never seen it that that low before. Shit. I still don't have the money. I don't have any cash on me. It's been so long since I played this game. It's not worth for me to sell fucking iron. It's not. Let the bidding begin. Virtual reality. Pleasure dome. Plus 10% profit. Yeah, I want. I'll take it. No, give. Fuck it. I'm gonna go into debt for this one. Congratulations. I won the virtual reality, which is something that I can't use because it's a patent. Fuck. Why did I not remember that that was actually a patent? And you need the pleasure dome for that to work. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, I failed. Fuck. That was a waste of money. Alright. I put a goon squad on my geothermal plant. Price of power has gone down to fucking nothing. Yeah. I wish I could upgrade my HQ, but I can't. I don't have enough uh, enough stuff to do that. I'm generating 0 0.39 electronics per second. Yeah. About that. 
The black market is open for business. The storm gives a boost to wind turbine generation and a negative to farm production and solar power. Solar condensers. Yep. Alright, go oh, upgrade. Alright, cool. So what do I want? I want more carbon. And I'm gonna want more electronics. Because the price of electronics is now going way the fuck up. In fact, I want a lot more electronics. shortage. Shortage of electronics. Oh fuck, good time to sell. Shortage on silica. Well, we happen to have a lot of silica. Upgrade! Just like that. Alright. Let's get that extra wind going. We have a hard-to-come-by land claim available to the highest bidder. Sure, I'll buy it. <laughs> I don't need it, but I'll buy it. I need to save my money. Need more silica. Each mine's only giving me like what, 0. 0.5? 1.05. So okay. It's not too bad. Should I look into making chemicals? Chemicals I need to make fuel. And to make fuel, I need water. Or glass, which I need oxygen, which she needs water. No, that's fine. Patent lab hacker. Can I build the pleasure dome? Any electronics? Okay, well I'll just wait then. I have the scientific HQ has been upgraded. Well, I guess I could build a patent lab and then build the construction lab when I can. the pleasure dome later. They're buying shares of me. That ain't good. See, most people have already bought out most all of themselves. There. I'm protected now. <laughs> Local authorities distribute a claim to each corporation. Nice. The patent lab is constructed. Let's get our science on. Pretty much. Alright, so... Let's see, what can we do? Scientific HQ has been upgraded. Cut from rivals' debt interest. Receipt. Yeah, that'd be nice. Water engine. Recyclers' resources and crafting buildings. Buildings are powered with water, if cheaper. These ones I can't do. I don't have enough. I need chemicals to learn those ones. Uh, I need chemicals for all of them, actually, but I don't have. All right, well, I'll grab the financial instruments. We'll upgrade. New building is available for auction. My thingamaderp. Was that an optimization center? I'll bid on that. So the goal is to buy out the enemy, and obviously I'm already losing because Orange owns the blue guy down here. Orange is winning. Basically.
Alright, so... Congratulations. Is there water left to... No, there's no water left to mine. But I can get ice. Which is what I'm gonna do. So these melt ice. So I'm gonna take melted ice... And I can turn it into food. And I can sell food. And I can turn it into... Oxygen. Which actually turns it into O2 and oxygen. Actually, yeah, that's actually a good point. Let's forego that one. And make two of these instead. A little bit of food is nice, but chemicals, the price of chemicals is going through the roof at the moment. Because those things make water. And then I can turn around and use that water to, as I said, make uh, other stuff. Yeah, actually, screw you. Let's get rid of that guy. We want the chemical factory. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to organize things. Nah! You receive a cut of their debt because I got that financial instruments for it. I get a small bit of money from them, basically. Pleasure Dome, yes please. I don't get a bonus from 132, 134, 144, 120, 120, 120. Okay, so I get a bonus, I have 144 if I put it over here. Basically, the is free money. <laughs> I have a AAA rating, oh boy. But I don't want to share with anyone else, so I'm falling behind in that sense. I'll buy that extra share myself. Okay, I don't need O2. So I'm making chemicals and chemicals requires fuel. So I can sh shift control basically auto sell all my fuel. I wonder what goes on in there. I'll take another pleasure dome. Why the fuck not? Sold. It's free money. So what do I need? Um, yeah, I need more of this stuff. making chemicals, which I can use for two things, either the patent lab or the other one. Chem mine and just some tiles. Thinking machine, sabotage. That is the best one to get teleportation right there. I'll grab slant drilling while I'm at it.
Alright, let's see what else I can sell to try to buy out my fucking enemies. Especially that one guy. Orange is winning. Next year. Sure, I could build a hacker array, but I need claims, and that's 3,000 for an extra claim. I don't think I'm going to do that. So that, what that means is, is he has 50% of the money to knock me out of the game. He can buy me out, basically. Come on, so auto-sell that. Teleportation acquired. Look at that. No more debt. Buying a share, a share in you. Let's sell some of the water. I do have a good backlog of it. Your stock is being sold. Huh. Really? Well, shit. This sucks. It's down to him and me now. Might as well sell out everything that I can. One thing I never did was build an off-world transport, and that's the name of the fucking game. So I need a thousand and eleven K, really? Okay, he's gonna win this. <laughs> no problem. He's got this in the game, in the fucking ball. He's one. I know. Oh, he has the money to buy me. He's one hundred percent. Any minute now. Any minute now. Come on. Come on, any minute now. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> You're... <laughs> yeah. Really, my contributions were only worth $542,910. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of figured I was going to lose that, but it was good to get back into the game, <laughs> just... Yeah, yeah, that fucker... He really, uh... He really got me there, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck yeah! Jesus Christ! He sold that much... And he bought this much as well, interesting. You see, these guys... They play dirty, the AI likes to play dirty, they sabotage a lot. Uh, you were the fucker who went after me. Hmm. Oddly enough, how I was worth less than everybody, but I lasted the longest. I wonder if it's because the AI just, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I had no opti- I didn't build the optimization thing, that's right. I own quite a few patents by the end of it, though. It's interesting that I got the virtual reality thing earlier on. Didn't even re- because I didn't even remember what it did. Plus 50% profit from the Pleasure Dome. Basically, give a makes the pleasure dorm give more money, 
and I've completely forgotten all the fuck about it until, well, I didn't forget about it, but I, I'd forgotten that it needed the Pleasure Dome for it to even be worthwhile getting. So I bought it early on, not knowing what it was. And then in the end, by the end of the game, I had two Pleasure Domes. <laughs> so I was like, that helped. It did help bring my money up, because I mean, that's... Interestingly enough, I... I was doing alright until... Until... But that's when he bought blue. The moment he bought blue out, that's when he skyrocketed. Then see when he bought red out, he also he went way farther up. I I was good at... I was being good at my micro game of, of getting my... You know, starting to build electronics, starting to get uh, chemicals by the end of her. But... You know, I didn't pay attention to... The macro, the big game, the big scale of Buddy buying the shares. I missed that entire thing until I heard the sound of like somebody just got booted out of the game, and you take a look, and it's like, oh, Orange just bought all of Blue. Oh. <laughs> well, that was off world, guys. Uh, so. I'll give you some more background about the game in case you didn't pick up on any of it. So, this is a. I don't know what you would say. It's, ma it's made by one of the guys who worked on Civ, uh, one of the Civilization games. Civ Mirrors, I think, Civ 5 or Civ 4, one of the two. Uh, he left Sid Meier's Fraxis Games, whatever, whoever, the company that makes Civ, and decided to branch out and make his own. And this was the, the brainchild. This was the, this was the game they made, or the first one that they made, I think. And... Basically, the story behind the game is that uh, Earth has run out of resources, and so they have been granted mining licenses to corporations to go to Mars and mine Mars. And more to it than that, I think some of the DLCs give you access to some of the mines on some of the moons around Jupiter, like Io and Ceres. That's why the one of the DLCs I think is called Jupiter Forge, <laughs> because it's like oh okay, it's different re and there's different resources that you can get. Obviously, like on Mars, like I was doing during the game was uh, you there's water you can mine, there's you can melt ice, there's wind for power, there's solar power. Obviously, there's geothermal vents you can get you can tap into for power. There is. Uh, you can turn the water into food, or you can turn the water into uh, through electro through electrolysis or whatever it's called. You can turn the water into fuel and oxygen, which is true because water is H two O. So it's like, well, yeah, it's two part oxygen, right? So it's like, yeah, you can take the oxygen out through a very very complicated process, and that's you know, I mean, game logic, but still. Uh, there is science in there a little bit <laughs> and uh, Anyway, so you can take the and then you can take the oxygen oxygen is obviously something that um, I Was playing robots so robots you don't need oxygen. You don't need fuel. You don't need food But if I was playing any of the other any of the other types your workers require that stuff to live and you can also sell it back to the colony because that's what it is you're supporting that colony and then there's an off-world market that i didn't even get to build i don't know if anyone i think orange probably had it and that's why he was probably kicking ass there's a rocket that you can build an off-world basically gives you access to the off-world market basically the ship things back to earth and we ship ship back to earth it's worth a lot more money i didn't get to that i it's been so long since I played this game that I forget most of that. But basically, that's what it is. And I'll go a little further. Like, um, you can also take the fuel and turn it into chemicals, which is what I got into doing later in the game. And chemicals, as you saw, was worth quite a bit. It's one of the end game resources, right? It's used in the patent lab, and you can also sell it, obviously. And then you can also do what I was doing from earlier on, make electronics. Electronics, you need to go get carbon and silica. But you can also take carbon and I think uh, sand, which I think is silica. You can take silica and I think silica and O2 to make glass. So silica and oxygen, which, which I guess makes sense because you burn glass, you burn sand, right? You heat it up hot enough well what do you use to make fire you got to burn oxygen so then you you burn 
sand and glass, which makes sense. And the glass is another resource that you can use to sell stuff. And as you've seen, some of the buildings and structures that you build require some of those resources. Example, when I built those uh, ice melters to get the water, those things, they only run during the day because they collect sunlight. It's a solar panel that basically collects sun, but instead of transferring it into energy for power, it transfers it into heat and melts the ice that it was sitting on to create water. And that's basically what the pro that's water I was using, but it only works during the day because at nighttime there's no sun, they won't run. But um, he's where was I going with this? Those things require glass to build. And it's like, well, okay, how do you get the glass early on if, say, you're playing on a level and you're playing as, I don't know, the, uh, the, uh, the scavengers or whatever? And it's like, oh, I need glass to build this and you don't have any. Well, you don't necessarily, like, you can. You start off with some money, and then obviously as you're gathering your aluminum and your uh, iron and all that shit to make steel, because everybody, pretty much everybody needs steel except for, I think the Ravagers don't need that. There's some that, you know, there's some of the, some of the different groups play a little differently, but anyways, you can sell that shit out and you get money and you can buy the resources as well. So. For example, for me to start making chemicals, I needed water to turn water into into fuel. But I didn't have to go for that. I could have I could have bought water from the market at the market value and then converted it. And you know, I could have even not even done that. I could have not even bother converting it. I could have just bought the fuel straight up to turn that rate right into chemicals. The question then becomes: of is it worth your while to directly? buy that stuff from your competitors because you know that's where it's coming from or make your own and the, the question is is the tra is the return on the investment of buying that because as you buy the price will go up and as you sell the price will go down so is it worthwhile for you you know it's supply the law is a supply and demand are there in this game and like I said, the market value is random. And as you've seen, there were sometimes there were shortages and sometimes there's uh, uh, surpluses where the prices will go up and down depending. And then with the hacker array, which is a tool I didn't even get, um, you can actually manipulate the market and basically create the illusion that there is a surplus or the illusion that there is a shortage to drive the price up or down depending on what you want. You can screw over your one of your competitors if you know that, hey, these guys are focusing mostly on electronics. Let's say electronics are worth nothing. Okay, and I'm only working on chemicals. Let's say chemicals, you know, they're, let's say there's a shortage of chemicals. Let's drive up the price of chemicals so you can sell it for a higher price. You know, there's all those things like that. Like when they, when they said, oh yeah, we're gonna give uh, mining and trading rights to corporations that go to Mars, Literally, it's the Wild West. There is, that's why they know, there's black market, there's fucking sabotages, there's fucking, uh, you know, you can manipulate the goddamn price of things if you have a hacker array. It's like, all this shit, not really legal. <laughs> but it's basically the Wild West. Who's gonna stop them out in fucking space? <laughs> space police? No, no. <laughs> Even then, they'd probably just pay off the police, but... Long story short, that's off-world. Um, that is my half-hour mark, pretty much. I think it might be a little over the half-hour mark. I don't know, I'm going to keep track. But, um, thanks for stopping in at the White Raven's Lair. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if you want some more, because I'm definitely willing to uh, try again. Um, because... I do like this game. This is an addicting game, and the skirmishes, as you can see, they don't take that long. 20 minutes, you're, you're done a game. And even a multiplayer, depending, of course, on maybe the number of players and the settings and whatnot. But for the most part, you can get through some of the games pretty quickly. There is a whole campaign and a tutorial. There's challenges you can do. There's scenarios. There's the Blue Chip Ventures DLC that gives you some extra stuff that you can work on. There's all kinds of stuff that you can do, you know, Besides just skirmish matches, you know, and there's obviously all, there's obviously also multiplayer. There's ranked and there's all kinds of craziness that you can do and mods, yay mods! <laughs> so this game is on Steam. Uh, link in the description if anyone wants to uh, to pick it up. If anyone liked what they saw here, um, I don't mind it. It's an interesting game. 
Um, yeah, uh, let me know if you want more. And I uh, hope to see you all in the next one. So if I do do this again, um, this time I played the robots. Next time, I guess I'll play one of the other ones and uh, kind of go from there. <laughs> LZ signing off until next time.